is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Is this thing made of Lego? Well, thanks to Captain America for that little intro. I'm Jonathan, and this is also Jonathan. What is the name of Thor's hammer? Mjolnir? Jonathan? That's right, I'm here with Thor's Hammer Mjolnir, the new Lego set that comes out March 1st, 2022, that Lego so graciously sent to me early. I do have to say, I am worthy, but check it out, guys. This is a life-size prop replica of the Thor Hammer. Now, I'm super, super excited to review this. There's so much to talk about, from the handle, to the build, to everything we've got going on here, so let's just get right into it. Now, the build experience was really, really fun. As you can see in this little time lapse here, uh, it, you know, is a little repetitive. You've got a lot of pieces uh, that repeat because, of course, it's a very uh, rectangular build. And, of course, the handle is very repetitive, too. But honestly, it was not that bad. It was actually kind of cathartic. And I really enjoyed that aspect of the build. Now, what all you get with this set, of course, is the Thor minifigure and a little display piece here with some Asgardian artifacts, if you will, but I love the stand that this thing sits on. It's like Thor just dropped this thing on the ground and it looks phenomenal. Now, coming back up to the hammer itself, it actually does have a little bit of weight to it. I have not actually weighed it myself, but, you know, it definitely has a little swing to it as you move it around. Now, what I will say is it actually is pretty durable. I mean, you can actually hit it on some stuff and it'll stay. I did drop test it, though, and it fell apart. I wasn't filming the drop test, but basically what I would say is you could definitely swing this around. You could hit it off some stuff and it'll stay together, but I would not hit it on your little brother's head or anything like that. I, I think it would actually do some damage, but uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm actually going to do a little... Uh, Thor Hammer Smash video, so stay tuned, I don't want to give too much away. Now, let's take a look at that minifigure and the little sign build. So our minifigure here is Thor himself. Now, he's based off of the Thor from the very first Thor movie from 2011, and it looks fantastic, especially all that detailing in the torso, got some reflective elements there. Unfortunately, I don't think the head is that good for this era of Thor, though, especially when you turn it around and he's got the lightning eyes. That's really not something we see f until Ragnarok in 2017, but overall, it is a very nice figure and definitely uh, a nice inclusion. I love when these larger, you know, kind of more adult-oriented sets include minifigures because, like with the James Bond, Aston Martin, they skipped out on that, so I love to see the trend going in the other direction here. We also get this very cool little build here which has three Asgardian relics. You'll remember from Thor Ragnarok, uh, you know, Hela kind of walks past all of these, so this, of course, is the Tesseract. This is the Infinity Gauntlet, which is amazing because it comes with all of the Infinity Stones. How cool is that? And we got a little Eternal Flame there. Now, interestingly enough, on the box, it doesn't tell you this in the instructions, it just shows in the box that you can actually put this inside the hammer, but honestly, I don't know why you would ever do that. Like, I played around with it. I'm not even going to show it on video because it's kind of hard to get in and out of the hammer. And again, I really don't know why anybody would ever do that. So, um, you know, I'm just going to get into it. And speaking of getting into it, let's take a closer look at the hammer. So first off, let's look at the base. You can see that the hammer sits on a pretty amazing base here. And it basically looks like Thor just dropped it into the ground and you've got all these shards and stuff. It just looks fantastic. I love how they used a traditional like mountain rock piece there. And then the top of Mjolnir, this little circular piece, really just kind of nestles in there. It's a really, really solid build. And I love the way that that looks when it's all said and done. Let's start at the end of the handle and work our way up. It's got this little, like, I don't know what you would call this, like strap, I guess. Um, but this is one of the straps that they used in all those video sets. Nobody could really fit their wrist through there, so it's really more for show than anything. And it actually is a little bit finicky. So, you know, if you get this, make sure not to put too much stress on that strap. As we built up the handle here, there's actually a very, very solid foundation on the inside that uses a mixture of Lego bricks and Technic. And then, of course, you cover it by these one by four hump pieces here in gray and brown to make the whole handle. It's very, very comfortable to uh, hold. Then, of course, that brings us all the way up to the hammer itself, kind of the mallet area. 
Now, I really love this that you can kind of open this here and take this panel off and you can see a little bit of the inside. It's not really meant to show off what's on the inside, but you can see what I was talking about, about a nice healthy mixture of Lego bricks and Technic to make this thing super sturdy. Like I said, it's definitely got some weightiness to it and it's super, super sturdy too. I'm really impressed with that. Um, I thought that it would be fragile and that there would be like warnings in the instructions like, you know, basically just set it down and don't do anything with it. Again, I'm not telling you to like, you know, run around the house beating your family members with this because we certainly don't want that. But, you know, I do think that you could like smash this against a grape and have some <laughs> fun results. So anyways, you can see the build here. I'm just kind of circling over it so you can see um, everything going on here. There's no stickers whatsoever. I really love that. You know, because you could imagine they could have put, like, the Insignia stickers on there, like the Thor or Asgardian logo or whatever, but there's none of that. And, yeah, I'll just kind of give it one more once over here, and we'll zoom out, and I'll give you my final thoughts on it. But really, really solid build all around, and I love it. Yeah, guys, it's a phenomenal set. Now, this is a Lego and Target shared exclusive. Uh, it's $100, and it comes out March 1st. It's a really, really solid build. As far as $100 LEGO Marvel sets, this may be my favorite one. Um, I just think that it's such a cool step in the right direction for LEGO. I'm really, really excited to see what else could come of this. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, imagine what else we could get life-sized, like maybe those little Ant-Man shrink discs, a Captain America shield, but, uh, that shield would probably be more in the four to $500 range just because of how many more parts it would need than this. But let me know what else you guys would like to see Lego make in this scale. I really, really love this and I'm really excited to hear what you guys think. So thank you one more time to Lego for sending this my way. Thanks to you for checking out this video and I'll say thanks in advance too, because you're going to hit that like and subscribe button down below. So thanks so much and stay worthy. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.